Hey guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Today's video is going to be another video in our affordable haul series where I go to stores in my local area and online finding really cheap places to shop. If you guys haven't seen any videos in this series, definitely check out the cards that I'll have up here. I'll have a playlist of all of the videos that I've done previously. So today's video is going to be a dollar store haul. Oh yeah, I'm super excited to share with you guys all the stuff that I found at Dollar Zone. It recently opened up in my area and my friend on Facebook was like, girl, did you see that store that opened up? You have have to go in there so I literally ran in there and I've been in there a bunch after they have a lot of stuff everything is one dollar if you guys are into affordable hauls or you would like to join our YouTube family definitely click the subscribe button I would love to have you I'm uploading every single week so as I always do with all of my hauls I always start with the thing that I was most excited about and I was most excited about dun, 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 these chokers so these chokers were a dollar each I'm not sure how much chokers normally go for because I am 31 years old I don't really know if I can pull off the choker trend. I'm thinking in my head trying out a trend for a dollar is totally my thing because who knows if it's going to look good on me if I should even be wearing a choker am I too old I have no clue but I was really excited to find these this one has to be my favorite it's just like um like a nudie beige with kind of like the chain bit on here and then this one it looks like it's two in there. Do you guys remember these from back in the day I used to wear this back in the day this type of one and then they have like the the same this one looks like it's thinner, but it's like that pretty teal color. So a dollar for each of these, I was not mad at that. I also found this really cute fuzzy like keychain puff ball. I see so many cute girls like wearing these on their bags. You guys know that I did the Nemo Marcus last call video and I was giving away that handbag. Well, Jamie was the winner and I contacted her. So I'm putting other stuff into her box along with the bag. And this is one of the things and it looks super cute on the bag. I like attached it just to make sure that it looks cute and it does. So this will be going to the giveaway winner. So I picked up earrings. These are the earrings that I have in right now. And of course, they're just like super cheap, cubic zirconi, nothing like anything big. But for a dollar, I always am losing earrings like constantly. So with earrings, I either lose the back or I lose the actual match. I have one earring here and I can't find its mate. So I just like to buy cheap earrings. That's basically what it is. They had a bunch of like these, I don't know this brand. It's called Beliza Cosmetics. Beliza. They had these makeup brushes, and I wanted to wait until I was with you guys to actually um, open it up and feel the quality. I don't really have high hopes for it, but we'll see. For a dollar, that's not bad. They had a bunch of, like, food, and, like, they had, a, like, a real, they had a, I was so surprised. I'm going to try to show you guys clips of what it looks like. If I don't show you guys clips in this video, I definitely will be doing, like, a Shop With Me video, taking you guys inside of the store so that you can see it. Because in my area, we don't got a ton of dollar stores. Like, we have Dollar Tree, we have Dollar General, but we don't have stores that are just $1. It doesn't, it doesn't feel that bad. The brush does not feel that bad. It's kind of, like, slanted. The, the bristles are, like, a little bit soft. But I think it's going to be nice. And it's kind of, like, it's more dense. Like, it's more firm than the... Um, wet and wild brushes so I may go back and get another one of these because this is okay so this brush I got so for the kitchen they had a few different things this is a spoon rest and I really love the like the little pattern on here I it feels like it's plastic it's hard to tell it's like a it's like a hard plastic it's not like cheap plastic but it's like a harder plastic and then it has like the flower design on the handle so when you're cooking you can rest your spoon on there so I've been needing a grater like this forever and I found it there this says four-sided grater my mom used to have one of these when I was a kid and this is like how we would grate everything and it was just so convenient because you could just sit it flat on any surface rather than just like holding it in your hand so it has the four different sides for grating and I was really happy to find this it says it's the home sweet home brand so for food, I have tore up, it was, oh my, it was like one, they had this like chocolate there. It was toffee, some type of toffee. I already ate that. It was good. But I found some more food stuff there, and it looks like it's about to expire, so that's why it's there. But these are the the Lancaster soft, soft creams, sea salt, caramel, like it's like a soft candy, you know what I mean? So I've seen these before, it says... They expire in April, so this month they're going to expire. So I better eat these pretty quick. So for my husband, he loves payday. So I found this there for a dollar. Yes, please, I'll take two. I've already gotten him one, and he ate the whole thing, so I picked him up another one. And the expiration date on here, I don't really see a date. So these paydays, I don't see a date on there of expiration, but I'm because I'm not really sure. So I'm sure it's probably close to expiring. 
So my husband loves these Nature Valley bars. I got the sweet and spicy. I never had these before. Chili dark chocolate with oats, nuts, seeds, and cayenne pepper. So we'll see how he likes those. These look really interesting. They had a lot of arts and crafts stuff, like a lot, like way better arts and crafts stuff than the Dollar Tree. So I was really happy with that. I found this sticker paper. So this is chalkboard crop it stickers. You can cut it into the shape or the size or even like the pattern that you want it to be. And then you can use it for like labeling things. So I really liked this. I thought it was super nice just to be able to have. So if you look on the front, they have it on the wall, but I totally think this would be perfect for labeling when you're trying to organize your pantry or your closets or any of your bins or anything like this. This sticker paper is a really good find. I was able to find some washi tape there. This one is for from Forever in Time. It says it's black and glitter tape. It has um like looks like it's like a leopard pattern and a zebra pattern they have like the different patterns I just thought it was cute in there three in there for a dollar that makes this a really good deal I found this this looked like a really good deal it's one roll of glitter tape it's like really big it's this whole width like it's the whole size right it's blue and silver with stars I thought this was a really great deal this is definitely something that they sell at Michaels I think I feel like I've seen this at like Michaels or AC more before but one dollar for this I'll take it I was able to find this forever in time stamp this is the black ink for the stamps I picked up stamps from Target and I picked up the worst color ink ever so I picked up this black ink to use with those stamps so another crafting thing that I found were these decorative labels and these are really cute they look like paper like a paper bag but then they have all of the different cutouts in here they have I don't know how many sheets are in there it doesn't look like that many oh okay four sheets so four sheets for labeling for a dollar I'm happy with that and then another really good exciting find were these letters I never see things like this like in this just plain white at the Dollar Tree. It's always something crazy. So I'm happy to have just plain white alphabet stickers. So for school, I picked up these erasers for Bobby. We go through pencils and erasers like crazy. So these are good to have. And I like the ones that you can just stick on top because then you don't lose them as often. And there's 50 erasers in here. So my whole entire family is here. So if you hear any noise, I'm sorry, that's my whole entire family. But I wanted to get this done so that I could share it with you guys right away. Um, I found this shower curtain. This is just a shower liner. We are getting a new shower curtain. So we need a new liner. And this is the one that I picked up from Dollar Zone. These hand towels I'm obsessed with. Like I love the neutralness of them. It's just like this. I don't know what you would call this. It's like a taupey gray, I guess, and white. These are kitchen towels. It says it's from the home home concept brand I just got two of them I love them I just think that they're like kind of neutral not like too busy and they look really good just like in the kitchen I got this for a DIY I saw somebody putting like succulents in here so I'm like I need more succulents <laughs> so I'm gonna be doing a DIY with this it's just like a planter it was in like the planting floral section I found this aquafresh this says family friendly um, tingle mint mouthwash and I love this br the brand aquafresh I like their toothpaste so I know I'm gonna love their mouthwash so we're gonna give this a go and then the final thing that I picked up is this downy fabric softener now I don't know if you guys are familiar with brands that are more like in Spanish this this whole entire packaging is in Spanish a lot of their laundry stuff was in Spanish you could tell that it was like the Spanish version of downy I'm just curious about it is it like the same product but it's just sold in a different country so the language is different so this bottle is much bigger than what I would get at the Dollar Tree that's why I wanted to pick it up there it smells amazing it works the same I just don't really know if it's just coming from like a different country or was going to go to a different country that's why it's in a different language so I'm not too sure about that but I, I have used it and I like it so guys that was everything that I found at Dollar Zone my brand new dollar store that's around my house I'm super excited about it I am totally a new shopper there I think it's a good mix to mix in with the Dollar Tree because a lot of the stuff that I found there you can't find at the Dollar Tree and a lot of stuff that I find at the Dollar Tree I can't find there so it's good to have both of them really close to each other so I'm super duper happy to have this new store I'm really happy with everything that I tried I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing what I got if you did give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel I'm doing new videos every single week and I would love to have you if you're already subscribed to my channel go ahead and turn on those notifications so that you don't miss when I upload follow me on all of my social medias I'm always at sensational finds I love you guys thank you so much for watching I hope you guys are all doing amazing and I will see you guys next time for another video bye guys